Hi, my name is Ken, and you're looking at the back of my 2016 Indian Roadmaster. Indian really knocked it out of the park when they designed these things. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, and it performs fantastic. But I feel there's kind of a problem here. There's just not enough going on at the back of the bike to capture the eyes of the cell phone jockeys behind us. We need people to see us so they don't just run into us. So, with that in mind, I installed the Add More light bar. It doesn't just add a tail light to the bike. It adds some very bright turn signals. and a brake light that has to capture your eye. So, in the case of the Indian Roadmaster though, we've got the perfect place for it. Right where I've got it, we've got a black horizontal bar, normally nothing going on there. It's the perfect spot for the Edmore light bar, if you have a Roadmaster anyway. Normally, for everybody else who doesn't have a Roadmaster, this thing would probably be installed down by the license plate, either on, above it or below it. Above it is better because this thing also has a license plate lamp in it. That can be turned off if you don't mount it at the license plate, as in this case. But with the Roadmaster, this is a home run. It's not plug and play. This requires a good mechanic who knows how to tap into the wiring system of a, motor, of a motorcycle in order to make it work. It's not rocket science, but if you're not comfortable doing it, you might want to bring it to your dealer or a good me mechanic to have it hooked up. Installa physical installation is easy. Wiring takes a li little time. In the case of the Roadmaster, I had to make a harness that actually runs underneath the seat to bring the wire up to the back of the uh, trunk here. Again, not rocket science, but it took a little extra time but you're simply not going to capture people's eyes better than this. And it gets better. This thing is configurable with installed software and software that you'll download from the website. So if you don't want your brake light to modulate like that, that's okay. You can turn it off. There's also three little LEDs right in the middle of the light that flash momentarily when you first hit your brakes. If you don't like that, they can be turned off. You can make that brake light come on like a regular brake light that just comes on and stays on. Same for the turn signals. If you don't like that progressive movement off to the sides, you can make them blink like ordinary turn signals. Again, not a problem. A laptop computer and the downloaded software from Ed Moore's website, easy to do. It gets better. We all know motorcycles typically slow down better just by backing out of the throttle than most cars do. After all, most cars are automatics. They coast well. When a guy's behind you in a car and you roll out of the throttle, he may not realize that you're slowing up for a while until he gets too close to your butt. This thing has an accelerometer in it. It knows when you're slowing down. So, even though you may not have hit either brake uh, function, the brake light will come on momentarily to let the cars behind you know that you're slowing down. If you don't want the decelerometer to do that, that's a, no problem either. You can adjust it. You can actually you can make it more sensitive, less sensitive, or you can turn it off entirely. But in my opinion, letting the fools behind you know that you're slowing down doesn't get any better than that. Now. It's only it's 200 bucks. Not dirt cheap, but in my mind, money well spent. Go to AdMore.com, check it out. Go to your local dealer, dealer and buy one. It's a fantastic product. I'm going to put a, up a uh, bit of information on how to install it and how to wire it on the Indian forums on the Internet. So if you're looking for that, check out the forums, and I'll have the information posted there. Ride safe.